Mountain 2 Roadways. I'm joined on the phone this morning by Jason Bond. He's spokesperson for VDOT. Jason, good morning to you. Uh, give us an update on what folks and the crews are seeing out on the roadways this morning. Well, it's going to be a very difficult day as we continue to plow and treat those major roads. That's where we're concentrating our efforts, as always, on those interstates and major roads. We're making multiple passes over those routes. It is very cold, and that's going to slow things down. These low temperatures are definitely going to pose some challenges, especially in the days ahead. Yeah, and I imagine, Jason, that's going to be the hard part here is you, you make a pass on these roadways, and then these temperatures are so cold, you know, anything that may have gotten there and, and melted is it, going to be an icy mix, or if you can't get all the way down to the pavement, it's probably going to stay there for a few days. On the main roads, we'll probably see some refreezing. So what little bit of melting we do see will create some water that will refreeze, particularly overnight when the sun goes down. These neighborhood and secondary roads are going to be a real challenge because when we do plow them, we are going to see an icy glaze of snow remain on those roadways. So people who live in those communities really shouldn't expect to see bare pavement until temperatures get above freezing. We will be plowing those roads as soon as we can get to them. But uh, there isn't going to be a lot of bare pavement because of these cold temperatures where you're going to see that icing, uh, icing condition on those roads. So we're really looking Tuesday, Wednesday before folks are probably going to see some decently improved conditions across southwest Virginia. We will, we will plow those secondary roads and, and neighborhood streets, but, uh, and they will be considered passable with care, but there will still be ice and snow on those road surfaces. It so, will not be bare pavement. So the moral of the story is slow down here the next couple of days. Well, folks just need to have some expectations that they will see ice and snow on those roads even when they've been plowed. And that's really just the, uh, na the nature of the cold temperatures where, you know, a lot of people get concerned. They don't think we're plowing or, or treating their roads, but we are going to be plowing them. We just don't expect to see a lot of bare pavement. All right. And, and many thanks to our crews that are out there doing this job out in dangerous conditions in the cold, uh, trying to make things safer for us. And, and Jason, thanks to you for talking to us this morning. Great information. Uh, we look forward to talking to you again as we go through the next couple of days.